Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So, today I thought we could talk a bit about catatonia. So, I'm not going to go into all the times I've experienced catatonia. I want to talk about the first time I went into Cal So, in short, I was living in Lancashire and something super stressful had just happened. Basically what happened is I, I experienced something super traumatic and I don't really want to go into details of what that was, but basically the stress from that triggered a panic attack. Only this panic attack was so bad I ended up in A&E. And in a &E, I just remember lying there, panicking, and then suddenly the panic stopped. But I couldn't move, I couldn't talk, I couldn't, I couldn't express anything to staff. But I, I had no warning signs that I was about to be catatonic. I wasn't on medication. The nurse tried to do like pain stuff across my chest, my right collarbone to see if I was faking it. That lasted for about three days and then I came out of it and what's weird is when you're catatonic you can hear, feel, see everything that's happening to you. You just can't express that which is what's scary about it. Now I got some questions on Instagram and I'm gonna answer them. How does it feel like? Do you remember being in it? Yes you remember being in it it just feels like you're trapped in a, you're trapped in a enclosure. It's like you're trapped in your body. Your body can't move. Next question is, what's it like emerging from catatonia? So you slowly ease, your muscles relax, and you can suddenly move again. You can talk. You can say what you want to say. You go back to being how you was before with some added trauma of having a catatonic episode because when you have a catatonic episode it kind of makes you think I made me think anyway when I went catatonic the first thing that I thought was I was having a stroke because I, I know that if you go into a stroke half your body is paralysed and I, I just I thought the worst have you experienced it while being alone? No, I haven't, thankfully. Does it happen suddenly or do you feel it, it coming on or get warning symptoms? You don't really feel it coming on. It just happens at uh, random, really. For me, the warning sign should have been uh, this panic attack landing me in an emergency department. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new, subscribe, join the growing family. Lit the thumbs up button and comment down below a question you have for me because I want to film a Q&A. Peace.